So this one was interesting. Occasionally I am sent films to review that I have no idea what they are. And I find out, I either read the synopsis or I don't, I just go in blind. And this was one that was a total, I went in with a total blank slate. This is a film called The El Duce Tapes from Arrow Home Video on Blu-ray. This is a documentary that was shot in the, I believe early 90s on VHS. I am not well versed in the hardcore punk scene. It's not something I'm interested in. So I, I didn't even know how much I would want to watch this movie, honestly, when I started it. It is based on a bunch of VHS footage that was shot in the early 90s by somebody who found the lead singer of this band, The, Mo uh, the Mentors, who called himself El Duce. He was a Gigi Allen type, if that means anything to you. Very extreme uh, performer whose songs were about very uh, unsavory subjects. Uh, the PMRC would not have been a great fan of this man. And uh, very, very crude and lascivious on stage and off antics. And apparently he's legendary in those scenes. This was, I, I learned about this guy through this movie. So basically uh, this, this young actor, filmmaker, stumbles upon this guy drunken in some bushes near his house, befriends him and decides to shoot the, all kinds of VHS footage of him. Nothing happens with that footage until apparently very recently when it was rediscovered and edited together into this documentary. So this is a very verite, fly on the wall documentary about this guy and this band. You get some, um, you, you do get some interviews with other people, um, like his girlfriend and uh, sister and band member at the time. And, and, and some footage was shot a little bit later, maybe within the same decade. And <clears throat> it's, it's interviews with this guy and his philosophy on life, people talking about him. You see him at parties, you see him on stage, you see him off stage, you see the band trying to tour and all this stuff and, and the ups and downs of, of this hardcore band that apparently has a following. I'm just totally unaware of them. So it's, it started off and I'm like, wow, I don't know if I want to spend an hour and a half with this guy. Uh, I don't know if I want to keep watching this. Sometimes I do bail on things. And uh, I stuck with it. It reminded me very much of something I would have seen on Night Flight back in the 80s. And I didn't care for the music. I didn't particularly care for the guy. But as it goes on, the, 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 the guard of his persona drops a little bit. And you find out about the real guy and the history of this band who apparently started off as like a prog rock jazz band or something and, and sort of eventually morphed into the, the, the nasty, you know, reviled hardcore band that they became. And it was, I thought it was fascinating. I thought it was fascinating and extremely sad because this guy clearly had a drug and alcohol problem. And uh, you see him just circling the drain and ultimately they talk about you know where his life goes, which wasn't pretty. And uh, so I think if you're a fan of, of, of this band or, or El Duce himself, this is probably very <clears throat> fascinating and, and unfortunate. Uh, if you don't know anything about him and you're willing to, to stick through it, I thought it was very interesting myself. Um, a lot of extras, it's Arrow. So, okay, so quality. You always hear me say how Arrow stuff looks phenomenal. Well, they were working with VHS tapes as a source. So, and I'm not one of those guys who's like, oh, VHS is horrendous, how could you even look at that? I still look at it, it it's okay for the most part. It, it's just that it's not like the typical Arrow release where you're looking at a gorgeous transfer from a negative 35 millimeter negative or something, it's, it's, it's videotape. So it looks as good as old videotape does. Uh, <clears throat> there's a ton of extras on this. Because they were working with tons and tons and tons of video footage, many, many, many hours, there are additional scenes and additional edits and additional footage, and there's a commentary. There's just, there's a ton of stuff. The commentary is very interesting, too. I'm always interested in commentaries um, <clears throat> about documentaries because you get the behind the scenes and well, this is what really was going on. And, then, and right after they said this, this happened. And this is what we had to do to get this interview. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, and I, I, <clears throat> I may be, conf I, I may be flip-flopping it. I, I believe there's an interview with the man who shot the original footage. And then there's discussion with the, the editor and the people who put the film together because it wasn't the original director who put this documentary together or the original cameraman. Um, but <clears throat> if you find it interesting, there's a ton more to delve into in the extras. And uh, ultimately, I, I'm really surprised to say ultimately I, I quite enjoyed this. It is unpleasant and ultimately really sad and tragic as it is. Uh, I thought it was, it was worth watching, especially if you're a music fan or a fan of that, that music scene. So out now on Blu-ray uh, from Arrow Home Video, the El Duce tapes. <laughs>